Sunday. Um, I'm gonna go to church now with my mom. Then after that, um, we'll be done by about 11 and we need to take Sophie to the vet because I think she might have ear mites because she keeps scratching her ear and she kept my mom up the whole night. So we're gonna go and take her to the vet. And then for the rest of the day, basically gonna be at home. Um, I wanna do my readings and stuff for my essay that I need to write. So I kinda wanna get all 15 readings done today and like, you know, get all of that done and yeah so it'll be basically my day um i'll take you along for like most of it but pretty chill day nothing too hectic going on this is what i'm wearing i'm just wearing this jumpsuit and obviously <laughs> these shoes i'm killing these shoes guys and yeah obviously you saw my makeup very simple and yeah so that's the outfit of the day my parents and i are making a braai um we're gonna go and sit outside the garden over here So we're having like a little picnic in this like little area, like closed off area behind our house. Um, so we're gonna have like a braai outside here. It was like my idea. I was just like, it's a nice day and then Sophie can like run around and stuff. So yeah, just have like the blankets and plates and stuff. And then I have like bread and stuff in here. So, and wine. So I'm just gonna get all of that out. Um, Sorry, I'm just like making sure Sophie isn't going too far away because there's like a big dog um, in one of the houses down there so. and she's a bit blind so I don't want her running aimlessly to the dog and getting bitten but yeah so it's been like a really nice day very chilled uh, I haven't started work yet but I will um, I think after like the picnic and everything so yeah Hey Soph. Hey. I'm enjoying the day. Yes. Monday um, I just got back from my boxing class <laughs> and yeah, I feel good I'm so happy to be going in the mornings again it feels really good um, just besides the traffic but yeah I'm really happy that I'm going to the morning sessions again it just makes me feel so good after like it sets up I don't know it just like makes me feel so good and it literally just feels like a good day like my day has started off good i've accomplished something i'm happy i get to shower i have the whole day ahead of me like the world is my oyster so yeah i'm very very happy about that uh my plan for today is i'm gonna go and get a pedicure because um i got gel on my toes uh when i was in zim but yeah i'm not really used to it and i don't really want to soak it off myself so i'm gonna go get that done and get it like painted 
and then so that's at 11 then i'm coming home and yeah i want to get started on my work it didn't work yesterday i was just like you know what let me actually just take the weekend and take it for myself um i have time like it's due friday i can afford to take two days off and then yeah i'll just work today and tomorrow and i have a consultation with her on wednesday and then yeah hopefully i can finalize it by wednesday so that i can actually have thursday friday saturday sunday and monday off before i actually start my like um thesis and year project so that's sort of what i want to do today so not sure how exciting this week is gonna be but maybe it will be maybe when i finish my essay and stuff it'll get exciting so that's me I didn't really film yesterday <laughs> just because I was so much in the zone like just working but like I did not move from my desk yesterday I was literally just like reading and planning out my essay um, literally from as soon as I got home from my nail appointment um, when I got my pedicure I was just reading the entire time I got my pedicure then I came home and then I just like continued and was just like writing out some points and stuff for my essay um so i have another three more readings to do and then i need to actually write the essay <laughs> and then from there i need to do a research proposal and draw a comic strip <laughs> so i have a lot to do today still um and i'm starting quite late because i had a very slow morning which it's not a bad thing like i'm glad that i had a slow morning like i think sometimes i'm just so needing to be productive and then i never land up being productive so i'm starting now at 12 i'm hoping that i can get everything i need to get done by seven so yeah literature review but a whole lot of bullshit like I'm being serious here, like, like I'm not even trying to be funny like, it's just bullshit <laughs> especially when it's not real no this is a 2500 word project proposal who in their fucking right mind is gonna read a 2500 2500 word 
project proposal no one reads especially people like for example the government who are receiving thousands of proposals a day they're not reading all of it like one person has to read all of that if they do read it then they take a long ass time to get it done and then that company probably is like okay well we're gonna look elsewhere you know it's just like ugh. I don't even want to get into it, but I didn't want to like stress myself out. I wanted to focus on one thing at a time and then I read it and I was like, anyways, I feel like this vlog is just going to be me <laughs> complaining about how shit this week is. I thought I'd be done. And it's 19 minutes past and I'm, what, not even halfway through all the work I need to get done? You know, the internet's there. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's there. So if I ever do need anything, I will find it on the fucking internet. I also think this is really stupid. I mean, we're a visual academy. Like, we do yes. visual communications. Not, like, I don't even know. It's just... I don't understand the point of this, but whatever, we have to do it. I'm not the only one who thinks this is dumb. We are visual students and an essay is not visually fucking appealing. No one wants to look at it. Like, let me tell you, your fucking project proposal will actually be looked at and probably put through 95% chance of success rate if it was a beautifully designed presentation representing the facts and figures. Not some fucking letter licking everyone's asshole. No. <laughs> the way of the world needs to fucking change right now. I'm done with it. I'm over it. The way this olden way of thinking fucks me off completely and utterly. And I don't care if that's the most Gen Z thing to say. Fuck, fuck it. It is. And the way the world needs to fucking change because this is ridiculous. It is changing. Why are we doing this? Like, it just mm, makes no sense. No, it makes no fucking sense. Mm. Anyways, all I'm saying is propose with presentations, presentations that encapsulate, that sell your idea that actually visually show what you want to do, not tables and graphs. I'm sorry, I don't think people who even make tables and graphs think they're that fucking interesting. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Rant over. I'll speak to you in something exciting or non-work related happens in my life, which I fucking doubt will happen. Good morning. Um, I just finished having a consult with my lecturer. It went well. Um, I am so, feel so much more clearer about everything um, and what I need to do now. Like after like I had like a whole breakdown yesterday um, about like don't understand, don't understand the point of it and everything. So now I finally got some clarity on it. Um, yeah, and I also have like just a few grammatical <laughs> changes in my literature review because um, I was using like the first person and then I went to not using the first person so I just need to like fix that kind of stuff so I think I'm gonna be done today like crazy um, the only thing that's putting me off is this comic strip but it's fine I'm just gonna do my proposal um, it's half past 11, so hopefully by half past 1, 2 o'clock I can be done with it. And then I can start drawing and get this done. But guys, I'm so happy. <sighs> it's going to be a good week. Also, I put on like sweatpants because it was so cold this morning. And now it's like getting warm. So, yeah. Anyways, I will just get on with my work.
Hey guys, I am out with my mum. We're at a wine farm in Durbanville named Canto. I think that's how it's pronounced. And we're here doing a MCC and macaron tasting. So I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, I think it was just a nice little break um, from work. And I wanted to do something nice this week. So this is going to be my little outing as my mum. So we just finished at the wine tasting and it was really good, um, quite enjoyed it, I don't know, did you enjoy it? Yes, very nice. Yeah, so we both enjoyed it, would come back again, I think it was just kind of empty today so like things are a little bit slow but it was really good, like otherwise like I would highly suggest and also the place is very stunning so yeah, my mom and I are going to go now to Canal Walk to go and pick up her car which is hopefully ready because I went for a service and just probably grab like a Starbucks or something and then we're gonna meet my dad in Steli's for dinner probably so I'll update you guys on everything we do today My mom actually went and like she did her phone, like designed it and all aesthetically, um, all by herself, which is like really cool. And like I love the colors and stuff. So yeah, are you proud of yourself? Very proud of myself. No, she didn't. <laughs> yeah. No, that's my mom. Can you 